All right, welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in. A whole bunch of you guys and some ladies have been asking me about how I liked these fret erasers that I bought a while back. You saw me use them on the, uh, I think it was that uh, Jimi Hendrix lookalike, kind of like guitar. And I've used them on several guitars since then. I'm getting ready to use them on this, or I've been using them on it. I've got them right here. Uh, my true, honest opinion, opinion I'm going to give it to you on these uh, things and you know what I think compared to sandpaper and uh, you just have to stay tuned and see what I think about them. I thought we'd just hang out a little bit tonight, get working on these frets and uh, see what's, uh, what's going on with uh, you know the thing that's going on. <laughs> I'm going to get you and move you over here closer. My eyes really bothering me man. I don't know what I did do it today. We've been going all day long today and uh, grocery shopping getting ready for uh you know what <laughs> anyway i want to get you bring you over here closer and we'll talk about these freight races i'm going to tell you what i really think of them hold on all right welcome back folks these are what today's subject is on that's what is that 220 i've got they all look just like this they're different colors i've got them laid out here 220 400 800 1200 and 2000 4,000 and 8,000. Now, I don't know why it goes from 12, 1,200 to 2,000. I think there should be a 1,500 in there, but there's not. But they work okay like that. I just would like to have a 1,500 between that 12 and 2,000. 1,200 and 2,000. I'm going to do a couple frets here. And go through all the erasers and show you in real time and tell you what I really think about these as compared to going through all the grits of sandpaper. And then, we'll, and then I'll get you and show you the two frets that I do, and, uh, and you're not going to be able to see it. Let me move the camera. I'll get you then and show you after I do these and uh, the difference in what those frets look like and the rest of them. I'm going to do two. Maybe I'll do three. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do two. So I'm going to show you in real time. I used to put the fretboard protectors over these, but you, that's not necessary. You don't have to do it. I do like to come down here like this. And roll up over the fret on both sides. You know, just kind of roll up over it as you're rubbing it down. That's all I got to do with this eraser. Let me get the next fret here. Uh, as far as these wear out after a while, like everything always does, but I can use these about every time that I use all of them on a guitar. I get a little pan. Put that well, right here it is, like so. Put water in that and dishwashing liquid. And I, you know, this stuff right here that you see, you can rub it with your fingers in that soapy water, and it'll come right off. And they're, they're like new again. I ordered them from Stumac, paid way too much for them. I really don't remember what I paid for them, whatever it was, it was too much. Okay, here's the 400 grit. And already I can tell it's not biting in like the the 220. But that's what you want. You don't want it to bite in like the 220. Sometimes I'll beat them on the, the desk a little bit just to, if there's any shavings in there, you know, to help get those out. So you've got a lot of questions about these. So I thought, well, you know, I'll just make a video dedicated to that. i got to do these frets anyway. And I'll just make a video on this subject. I need to slide the guitar down a little bit, and that's probably going to mess up your view. Uh, I'm still, I'm still looking for a cameraman to hire or a woman. <laughs> Anybody can run a camera. Full-time job, baby. This is the second video I made today. Wow. You can tell the feel of each racer, eraser, how it is not as gritty as the one before it. As far as how much I like them, I love them, man. I've probably done frets on, I don't know, six or seven, maybe eight guitars with these fret erasers since I got them. And I absolutely love them over the old school sandpaper uh, technique. 
Okay, this is 1200. And already I can really feel a difference in that. That first one, 220, <laughs> it bites in pretty good. You can tell when you first start, you'll feel a lot more friction. And then as you rub it, you can you tell the friction gets lesser. And when you feel that, you move on to the next eraser. I was just going to show you, I thought, you know, so many people ask me about them. You know, you most people only erase where the string makes contact. And that's okay. I just like for my frets to be flawless, man. And that's what I'm shooting for here. Yeah, already I can tell that's done. I started to do this guitar and I did the first fret there just a tiny bit with the 220 and I thought man all these people ask me about these erasers I'm gonna make a video and just tell them all <laughs> how I like these I like them a lot man Eric C thank you for reminding me I watched one of Eric's videos and he was using them here's 4000 grit and I thought, you know, those frets look good, man. If it's any user in sandpaper, I want to I try them. And I had some old ones here I'd used a time or two. I didn't really like them, and I didn't have all the grits either. I think it should go from uh, 1200 to 1500 instead of 2000. I don't know why Stumac did that. I assume they... Yeah, I just ordered the whole pack, and that's what came in it. See that like that right there? I think you can see that on that eraser. All I got to do is run, uh, put that in water, soapy water, and just run your fingers over it, and it'll come right off. And the eraser will be just almost like brand new all over again. Oh, I was going to say... See, I come down here and get the sides and roll my way up. Most, uh, a lot of people, I know a lot of people that only gets the top where the string makes contact. And even doing that, you're still getting the sides because if you apply pressure downward, that eraser kind of hugs that fret. And it gets, you know, gets the sides to some degree. Yes, sir. Flop him over. Side. Oh, my hands, man. Can't hold on to anything anymore. It used to be I could hold on to about anything and I'd pick up just about anything. <laughs> so, what do y'all think about that virus, man? I wasn't going to mention it. I'll probably, this video will probably get tagged because I did. But I think our government, I think all governments, should have uh, focused on that way before they did. They know about that shit back in in uh, December or, or November, maybe even. All right, I'm going to get you and show you. I can still see that little blue thin line I left when I crowned them. I'm going to get you to bring over here and show you now the difference in these. I haven't even put silicone, uh, semi-chrome semi on them yet. Let's just go ahead and do that too. And you can see close hand up first. <laughs> first. What? How these erasers do. You saw how quick it was. That's all the erasing I need to do right there. What you saw me do. Of course, I got all these other frets to do yet. But you'll get the idea. I think. Alright, check that out. That's from two frets. When you rub the semi-chrome on, you think, well, you know, you don't look like you accomplished very much. 
But when you rub it off, that's when you can see your work and the beauty. All right, I'm going to get you now. Bring you over here and show you these two compared to the rest of them. Hold on. All right. There you can, I think you can, maybe can see that little blue line I was talking about. You want to keep that on there when you're crowning your frets. All right, you can see what the frets look like here. Those frets have only been crowned. Was the last thing I did. And look at these two. The first two. I moved the camera. Everything reflects, man. It's like a friggin' mirror. You see, not so much on those. Those are still pretty rough on the very top tip of the crown on that flat spot. Well, the whole frets are pretty rough yet. I don't think the camera's getting it, but I can see file marks in them yet. Those erasers will take those file marks completely away. But check that out, man. Shiny, shiny city. Everything, anything you see there is reflections in those, in those first two. These, I don't even see any reflection, just barely, if any, you know. But that's how quick those fret erasers are. Right there they are. That's what they look like. Now let me tell you my real thoughts, what I really think. Now, if you want to know what I paid for these uh, fret erasers, I, w I wish I could remember, man. I could look it up. I don't have it in here. It's in the, in the other, in the computer room. Uh... I'm sure it was probably too much, and I hate to tell you to go there, but if you want to know what I paid for them, just go to stumac.com and uh, search for fret erasers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they have other packs with like three and a pack with five, and uh, so I got the seven pack. Uh, you can go there and look them up easy enough if you want to know how much I paid for them, because I can't remember, and I don't want to tell you something that'd be wrong. But it was it was more than you would think for freaking erasers, you know? Anyways, I'm going to do the frets on this, and I, I thought, you know, I just did that one video not long ago, doing the frets, and showed it all through it, and uh, this one, I just wanted to tell you what I feel about the racers. I love them, man, way better than the old school uh, sandpaper grits, changing grits, and you, your hands get dirty, look, I did those two frets, my hands ain't, ain't even dirty yet, and they won't get dirty with the fret erasers. You use sandpaper, I guarantee you, your hands are going to be black, man, when you get done. And it takes longer. It takes a lot longer. You got to, I cut the sandpaper out in strips and all that crap. took time. And usually several strips because if the paper would wear out, I'd have to cut another strip out of that grit. And, it, you know, this is way better, faster. I dig it, man. And, Eric, see, I thank you for pointing me in that direction. Uh, I highly recommend them. You know, like I say, if you can get over the price, man, <laughs> it's home free after that. Alright, well, I'm going to shut the camera off and get on this guitar and finish these frets tonight. And uh, I'll bring you back, I'll make another video, or maybe if I get them done tonight. I don't know if I will or not because I'm really tired. We ran everywhere today. A lot of errands to run, preparing for the future to come. <laughs> wow. I would strongly advise you to do the same. Get ready, man. Stock up. Uh, anyways, I, that's all I'm going to say about that. i probably get this video tagged already from what I said. I'm going to do these frets, and I will show you a video, maybe if not on the end of this one, on another one, the uh, completed job <laughs> after it's done. It's going to take me a little while. I only got two frets done, so I got all the rest of them to do yet. So cheers, thanks for watching, and uh, tune in next time. We'll get into something else. All right, bad as I hate to. Let's do it, do it, do it. Here's one other thing I forgot to mention. I was going to mention about using these things. Uh, I'm down to 13th fret. I'll finish the 12th. When you use these things, make use. Don't use like the, the end of the eraser. If I can say it, don't use the end of the eraser like that or like this. You can, but I found it way faster if you use the entire eraser. You know what I mean? Don't make we little rubs like this but make long ones and use the entire eraser see what I'm saying and you'll find it to be a lot more effective and there's the YouTube queen that we all know and love so well 
Thank you guys for watching. She's in here. I'll give you a fix. Oh, there goes the eraser. Need hands, man. Cheers to you. See you next time. I love you. I love you. No, she's not going to do it. Cheers. See you soon.